I'm waiting with my teacher, Mr. Morris, for Mummy to collect me after school. I'm the only one left in the playground. Your Mummy isn't usually late picking you up, Tim. Let's go to the office and we'll ask Mrs. Hall to give her a quick call and we'll see where she is, OK? Yeah. I'm supposed to be going to get my eyes tested today. Yeah, that's OK, Tim. I'm sure your Mummy hasn't forgotten. Mr. Morris takes down. me to the school secretary. Mrs. Hall, Hello, Mrs. Hall, who is very nice Tim's to me. Mummy seems to be running late. Can you she looks up Mummy's number yes. and phones her. All right, Tim, I'm going to be outside. OK. Don't worry, Tim. I'm sure your Mummy isn't far away. Hello? Mrs. Odell? Hi, it's Dee Hall here from Hatcham Primary. Yes, I'll let Tim know. OK, bye-bye. What did Mummy say? She's at home with Topsy. Topsy's been asleep all afternoon and your mummy didn't want to wake her. So she's arranged for your grandma to come and collect you. Sorry I'm late, Tim. Grandma! Hello! Ooh, I got here as fast as I could. <laughs> I'm supposed to be going to get my eyes tested now. Yes, I know. Your mummy told me, and I'm going to take you. Okay. See you tomorrow, Tim. Bye -bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, Mrs. Hall. Bye. <laughs> oh, put your hand. Oh, where's Mossy, Grandma? She's asleep at home. She just wouldn't get in the car. I don't know what's wrong with my funny old dog today. Topsy and Mossy are both having a very sleepy day. <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh, here you go, Tim. Oh. Ooh, a banana. I know you're always hungry after school. Thank you. Oh, you wear glasses too. Oh, I've forgotten that. <laughs> I do, Tim. For driving, I am short-sighted. I have to wear them sometimes because I can't see things far away nice and clearly. Oh, that's the car. This way. That's why I need glasses too. Well, let's see what the optometrist says about that. Did you say optometrist? Uh, not quite. I said optometrist. Oh, whoa, that's a big word. <laughs> How do you say it? Well, actually, do you know what an optometrist is? An optometrist is the person who today will test your eyes and check to see if you need glasses. Optom. No, op. <laughs> How'd you say it? Right. Op. Op. Tom. Tom. Et. Et. Wrist. Wrist. Optometrist. Op no, optometrist. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly right. Come on. Get in. There we go. By the time we get to my eye test, I can say the word perfectly. What is it again? Optometrist. <laughs> optometrist. Optometrist. And Tom. here we are. At the optometrist. Hello. <laughs> My grandson has an appointment at four o'clock. His name is Tim O'Dell. Um, yes. Uh, Mrs. Kathari will be right with you. Just take a seat, please. Grandma, there are so many different pairs of glasses. Which ones do you like? I don't know. I like those ones. Quite fun. Yeah. Blue ones, oh. green ones, dark blue ones, red ones. Lots of different ones. Adele? Oh. Oh, that sounds... Hi, Tim. I'm Sia Kathari. I'll be testing your eyes today. You're an optometrist. I am, and you're a very clever boy for knowing such a big word. Do you want to follow me through? Well done, Tim. Come in, Tim. Whoa, Grandma. Yeah. Tim, today I'm going to need you to have a seat on my big blue chair up there so we can do some reading together. Now, are you OK to sit on your own there? Or do you want to sit on Grandma's mm. I'll sit on my own here. Yes, well done. Good boy, Tim. As I get comfortable in the chair, Mrs. Kathari asks me lots of questions. Have you had your eyes tested before, Tim? Uh, no. Oh, it's a bit exciting. It's all very easy. And at the moment, are you finding things look a bit fuzzy? Uh, yes, 
when I'm at school, I find it hard to see the whiteboard. Okay. Um, does anyone in your family wear glasses? Oh, yes, Grandma does. Oh, does she? Yes, she can't see things very clearly if mm. they're far away. She's okay. short-sighted. Ah, oh, okay. So what we're going to do is some reading. I'm going to use this to cover up one of your eyes, like that. Is that okay? And you have a look at the letters in the mirror. What can you read there? N R H V Well done. H O F C Any more? Don't worry, if they're a bit tricky now. A bit difficult. I can't aren't read they? them. That's okay, you did really well. Should we see if we can make things a bit clearer for you? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to need to pop these on. Okay. Mm, giant pair of glasses. How do I look, Grandma? <laughs> okay, so should we go back to those letters? Now, can you read anything on there? Mrs. Kathari saw lots, lots of different pieces of glass called lenses in and out. Better? Oh, yeah. I have to tell her if they make the letters oh. less fuzzy um, or not. And is that better or worse for you, Tim? Really good. Shall we swap that round? D. Is that easier for you? N. Yes. yes. A. No, E. Um, well L. Done. Fantastic. So let's pop this out. Well done, Tim. You did so well. And you're short-sighted like your grandma. <laughs> now you need to go out in the shop to choose some frames to go with the glasses. So let me pop these off. But before you go, Tim, we need to make sure your eyes are nice and healthy and do a few more eye checks. Is that OK? OK. So this first one, we need to check your eye muscles. I try on lots of frames to see which glasses I'd like to get. I don't know which one I actually like the best. I tell you what, Tim, let's ask <gasps> Mummy. OK, now give them back to Miss Kathari. I think let's... Let's right, buy them put, one, one yeah, at a time. Put the, uh, put the blue pair on first. There we go. OK. Lovely. Excellent. OK, now let's try what we got there. Oh, those green ones. Let's try the green ones on. The funny ones. Yeah. OK. Very good. And what have we got finally? Those metal ones. Put those metal ones on. There we go, Tim. That's it. Great. Lovely. Now, what we need to do is send these photos to Mum and then she can tell us which ones she prefers. Okay, I've the glasses you chose. It's an option there, OK? Thank you. Miss Brooks, do you like to come through? Message from your mummy. Oh, let's see which one she prefers. It's from Topsy. What does it say? Will you read it? Thank you. Okay. Hi, Tim. I like the blue ones, and mummy does too. Now from Topsy. There then. That's sorted. Happy? Yeah. <laughs> see from them really well. Can you? That's the most important bit, isn't it? Yeah. Mummy, they're here! Come on, Topsy, let's go and see them. Good girl, take it easy. Thanks, Grandma. Oh. Hi, Topsy. Hi, Tim. Where are your new blue glasses? Oh, well, the optometrist said 
that in a couple of days I have to go and collect them. Optometrist? Optometrist. Wow, that's a big word. How did you get on? And someone's come to that's see it. Topsy, look. We picked her up on the way. She wants to say, get well soon, Topsy. Get thank, well soon, Topsy. Thank you, Mossy. <laughs> thank you, Grandma. Huggle. Not too tight, Grandma. Remember my tummy. I know. And that's when Grandma said... Lovely Mossy is so pleased to be with you two. Lovely Mossy is so pleased to be with you two, Topsy and Tim. We love you, Mossy. We're really pleased to be with you. Yeah. Come on, everyone. What? Let's go and have tea in the garden. Oh, yes. And that's a mossy. Was that? Grandma bought sausage rolls. Oh, brilliant. We're here. Hello. Yeah. Hi, hi, hi. In you go. Shoes off, please, Tim. Thank you. Good to see you, Tim. You've grown. Hi, Mrs. Welch. Hello, little Jack. How's Topsy? She's getting much better, thank you. Do you want to give me your bag, Tim? Okay. Tim! Tony! You're wearing a school uniform. Oh. Your head's different. Yeah. No one wears a uniform at Little Compton Primary. You can wear anything you want. Right, who wants biscuits and juice? Anyone? Yeah! yeah. There you go. Right, hey. sit down, please. Sit down at the table. Thank you. After our snacks, we're ready to play. Sofa attack. Oh, yeah, sofa attack. Sofa attack! Sofa attack! Sofa attack! Oh, sofa attack! Be careful of Jack, boys. <laughs> I'll take Jack out for a walk. Okay. okay, okay, how about you two play a game that isn't attacking the sofa? How about that? Oh. Hmm? I know. Let's play hide and seek. Yeah, like we always do. I'll hide and you count to ten. One, two, three, So he's come to play too. You can all play together, just not on the sofa. Weren't you playing hide and seek just now? Yes, Sam, you hide. Sam's the best hider ever. You'll never find me. Go <laughs> Okay, we can count. One, two, three. Come on! What? I'm coming to find you! But we have to count to ten. We only need to count to three. Sam's a really fast hider. Okay. <laughs> gotcha! Oh. Oh. Not there. Is he in here? Oh. I told you he was good at hiding. Where could it be? Where else? Oh. I told you you couldn't find me.
you in a bit, Paul. Bye, see you later. Bye. Come and give me a hand in the garden, please. Good man. Grab me shoes. This is our new laundry dryer. When this is ready, we'll be able to hang our wet clothes outside so they can dry out here in the sun. Good, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to put it in that hole that I've dug just over there. Oh, yeah. How will it stand up? That is a good question. I'm going to use concrete. Look, I've got a bag of concrete mixed just over here, and I'm going to stand it up in that. So, you're going to help me. Um, put these gloves on, first of all. There you go. There you go. Right, pick up this watering can. It's quite heavy. Got it? You go and take it down there. Stand back a second, Tim. I'll pour this out. It's really dusty. Go right back. Look, you get into a mess. There you go. Pour a tiny bit, just a bit at a time. I'm going to get something to stir it with. That's it. Good, 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 yeah. A bit more. I help Mr. Welch right, make the concrete by adding water to the concrete mix. Right. Let's swap. I want you to start mixing it for me. There you go. Go on, really swirl it around. Get stuck in. <laughs> Add a little bit more water. Yeah. Right, do you want to swap? You do the water, I'll do the, I'll do the stirring. Oh, football! Right, go, go, go. Let's go! Pass! There you go. Go! Pass! Do you know what I think we could do with Tim? A little bit of help. What do you think? Sure. Okay. Right, you two, Tony, Sam, come over here. You're going to help us stir this concrete. Tony and Sam join in. We all make the concrete together. Okay. Sam, get ready to stir. Here it comes. Just a bit more, Tim. That's it. Right, stir, Sam. Go for it. That's really good. Stir. Oh, that's really good stir. Here, uh, sorry, I can't remember your name. Oh, it's Tim. You know Tim. Oh, please, me. Good job, Tim. Oh, bit here, too dry. You're good at this. Good stirring, guys. Good stirring. Keep going. Yeah, I'm lucky you now. You know what, guys? I think that the concrete is ready. Okay, so here's what we're going to do next, right? I want you to pick this up for me. Pick this up. This is the laundry dryer. There we go. You get one end, Tim. There you are, Sam. You get... Right now. Take it over there, there where I've dug the hole. Walk up onto the decking, Walk right up, that's it. There we go. And we're gonna plant it in here. Now I want each of you to hold on, nice and tight. There we go. Hold on, Sam. Right, now. Uh, he carefully hold the dryer upright. Sam, you stand there. Tony's hold dad on. pours the concrete into the container there, okay? that supports the dryer even more. Oh, your arms are starting to wait. What about mine? <laughs> Oh, wow. wow. Look at that. That's great. Yeah. Okay, big test coming up now, guys. Let go. Let's see if it stands. We did it! We well did it. done, team! We did it. Yes, we did it. Good work, team. Well done, guys. Yeah. Well done, well done, Sam. Good work. After all of that DIY, I get changed out of my messy school uniform and borrow clean clothes from Tony. Look, you want me new clothes, Tony? <laughs> right, your uniform is in the wash, Tim. It'll be ready soon. Why don't we hang his clothes out on the dryer outside? <sighs> not today, I'm afraid, Tony. The concrete's not set hard yet. Aww. But that does give me an idea. Come here, put your shoes on. Get your gloves on. Come outside with me. Just put in there. Mr. Welch shows us how to draw our faces with sticks in the concrete before it goes hard. Will they really be there forever? Yeah. 
When the concrete gets hard, your faces will be fixed solid, which means every time I come in here to hang the washing, I'm gonna have you three staring back at me. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's take a picture. Okay. Stand okay. next to here then. So stand next to this. Right. Run smile. Good, huh? Check it out. Cool. It looks amazing. Oh, good one. Wow. <laughs> oh, please can you send it to my mummy or dad to show Topsy, please, Mr. Will? It's a really good idea. Yes, I'll do that right now, too. Come on then. Let's get back inside, get some more juice. We all have something to eat, and then Mr. Welch's phone rings. Can you get my phone? I can see where my phone is. I can hear it ring. Oh, sir! Oh! Oh, good man. Thanks, Tim. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Mr. Welch. It's Topsy. Oh, hello, Topsy. <laughs> Please, can I speak to Tony? Uh, yes, I will get Tony for you now. He's just here. Here you go, Tony. It's for you. It's Topsy. Hi, Topsy. Did you like the photo we sent you? Yes, it made me smile. Thank you. <laughs> and that's when Topsy said, Please, may I come and play at your house next time, Tony? Please, can I come and play at your house next time, Tony? Yes, you can. And you can meet my friend Sam. Oh, Sam's really great fun, Topsy. Hello, Topsy. What are they doing? And that, said Tony, Tim and Sam, was that.